Hi, I'm John McQuiston. Welcome to this video tutorial for Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4 software. This is another in a series of videos that will show you how to use DPP-4 and the EOS Utility 3. What I'll do in this one is go over some common situations you run into when you post-process your images and show you some ways to adjust them to get the most out of what you shot with your Canon camera. The first is when you have the main subject of the image darker than the background. You want to brighten the subject. You want to try not to wash out the background, although the background here is not that critical. I'm going to use gamma adjustment for this because it will mostly let me adjust the midtones. I'll move the white point to about 0.5, and I'll move the midpoint down to minus 0.75, roughly. So we've brightened it up a little bit there. If, if I go too much on that, I can lower the white point again and bring that back down. Sometimes doing this will wash out the colors so I can boost the color saturation to two, give us some color back. I can also use the highlight and shadow adjustments here. Control of highlight and shadow is a key new area of DPP's capability over previous versions of this software. So I will lower the highlight to minus two and bump the shadow up to plus one. Now when I set these side by side, you can see where I have brightened the main subject and just touched up the color a little bit. My next situation. I have an image with a lot of features that I like, but parts of it are blown out because brightness washes out some details in the shot. You'll find this often with landscapes where you have a beautiful sky, but bright light washes out colors and some of the details in the clouds. I also have that in this photo of this bird, there are some areas on top of and on the side of its head that look washed out, and I've lost detail in the feathers because it's too bright. I go to my basic adjustment, and here again I'll use the highlight slider, bring that down all the way to minus four to bring out the tones of the feathers a little bit more. I'll boost the shadow up one to brighten shadows that it might be too blacked out and I'll boost the color saturation one or two. Next, I go to my color adjustment tool, where as I mentioned in another video, DPP-4 has greatly expanded its control of color over previous versions of the software. Just for orange, I'll boost the saturation up to two, and I will lower the luminance a little bit. And then I'll bump up the blue shades, a little bit for the aqua, a little bit more for the blue, and just a touch for the purple. And then when I compare this with the original, you can see where I have recovered some detail, especially some on the side, but really you can see it on the top where I've managed to recover some detail. And I've also added just a touch of color to the shot as well. In the next example, I have a, a shot that I like a lot. It's just kind of dull. And I'm looking for a way to kind of spruce it up a little bit and uh, just make it more dramatic. And I might take a little what the visual version of poetic license is on this one, because what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to white balance, and I'm going to go to color temperature. And it's at 4700 now, and I'm going to turn that down. I'm going to make it a little bit more blue, maybe 37, 3600 there. So I've, I've added a decided blue cast to this. And now in gamma adjustment, I'm going to take the white point and move that down almost to minus two. I really brighten the image there. And then I'm going to bump the color saturation, maybe one or two here. And so you have a, a pretty dramatic difference now. And again, the bricks here are not naturally this color. But when you look side by side, you see how kind of dull and ordinary this looks and how dramatically different this looks. Again, this is kind of a processed look but it's something you can do to your images. If you've got one that you, you like the composition for, but need some way to make it really pop out to a viewer. One more example, and this image does not lack color. It just doesn't have all the right colors I want. You have probably taken a sunset photo like this where you see the bright golden tone throughout the image, including up in the sky. It didn't look like that to your eye. The sky had a greater variety of color. So I'll try to get some of that back. Here I will use in my tool palette the tone curve. And I'm going to go to the B channel here in RGB. That's red, green, blue, of course. And I'm going to lift up the blue, try to punch up 
the blue in the image. I'll make it more bluish, more purple you see in the top here. Now in the color adjustment tool, I'll do something as well, and that is I'm going to pump up the saturation for the blue tones, including the purple. And that should get us some of the sky color back. We look at them side by side. You see how the original has the gold throughout, even in the sky. And now here we still have the gold around the sun and the orange, but as we move up in the sky, you see more of its original color, the purple and the blue. So those are some examples of how you can use Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4 software to enhance the images you take after you get them into your computer. Thanks for watching.